In this video we're going to show you how to create calendars and share them using Exchange Mailboxes. Uh, we're not using Outlook, we're using Outlook Web Access, so we're doing it all through the internet, all through web, um, a web browser. We've got two email accounts set up on the same organisation, same tenants, the same domain name, which is click-systems.com. We've got your a Google Chrome, which, which is um, user is support at click systemscom and then we've got Firefox which is temp at click systemscom so we're going to go to support at click systemscom we're going to add a new calendar by going to add calendar we'll create a blank calendar when you name the calendar we're going to call this staff holidays you can give it a color so you associate with a color and then you can give it a charm an icon leave it in my calendars and click save once it's saved you will then have it just here and it's tick if you want to view if you want to view the actual what's going on in the calendar you have it highlighted if you don't want to see what's in the calendar you can untick it there next we're going to we'll add we're going to add a we'll add an event or an occasion or an appointment to the calendar so we'll go to new event We'll call it Member of Staff Week. We will set it all day for five days. The 29th and coming back on the 2nd. Now we need to select which calendar. So we're going to put it under the Staff Holidays calendar. And then we're going to save the calendar. Right, so you'll see there that's on, on my calendar only. If you go to the other member of staff and click calendars, he hasn't got, he can only see his own calendar. So right, we need to share the staff all this calendar. So if you click on the three little dots by the calendar you'd like to share and go to sharing and permissions, you can then enter an email address in of the person you'd like to share it with. So we're going for temp user and we, we're gonna make him see the calendar but also edit the calendar. So if we go to can view can edit so that means they can view the calendar and edit the calendar click share now they should receive an email now saying would you like to share this calendar so we go back to the mail we've been invited to share this calendar you click accept on the calendar now when we we can then view the calendar by clicking here or we can go to the calendar icon in the corner so we go to view calendar and now we'll see staff holidays now we can't see the date here, but as soon as we allow it, we can then see the member of staff is off from this day. Now it's in green on this one, it's in pink on the other one. You can actually change the color code yourself, so you can change anything you like in the calendar. You can you can change the charm, the color, you name it. It can all get changed. So that's sharing a basic calendar. You can share it with more than one person. You can have people just viewing the calendar. They can't edit and change anything. You can have people who can edit and change or remove the calendar. Um, very simple to do and very effective working across members of staff. That's, it. That's how to share a calendar.